everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this rainbow hat with a palm. This is so simple to make and it was a lot of fun changing colors every row. Uh, so I'll just get into the supplies we need and then we'll get into making this. Unfortunately, my dad is not filming today. I am filming myself and it is very difficult. <laughs> But we could not coordinate to meet this week, so I am going to try to do this myself and hopefully we succeed and hopefully you learn something today. Uh, so if you are new here, welcome. I'm Nadia from Yarn Utopia. I'm going to teach you how to make this hat today using the N hook, which is 10 millimeters. Sorry, my dad usually zooms in on this really nicely and I'm really bad at this. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, see? Let me see. Oh, there you can see it. Boom. 10 millimeters. <laughs> uh, so usually I use would-be fancy hooks. They have the uh, hand-carved wooden handles attached to them, but I don't have one in the 10 millimeter, so I'm just using this regular hook today. But if you are interested, check out would-be fancy. These hand-carved ergonomic crochet hooks are super fabulous and allow you to crochet for longer periods of time with a bigger handle, and they are cut to the grooves of your hand so you can crochet really nicely for a long period of time uh, without any hand pain. They have right and left hand hooks, and uh, any hook size that you want, you can choose. You can have it permanently inserted. But today we are using this 10 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn, sew in a bunch of ends because we change color so often. You're also going to need a palm maker, which I used um, this cardboard, just two pieces of cardboard, but you can use a legit palm maker if you have one. And as for the yarn, huge thank you to Lion Brand Yarns for providing the yarn today. We're using this hometown line. We have all the colors of the rainbow and white. Okay, so we have this red up here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom. Oh, there you go. Red. Here's orange. Yellow. Green. I have two blues. I have this one is called Reseda Dojo. And then this blue is Athens Blue Sky. Then purple here. This is, they have interesting names, Portland Wine. Okay. And then this white is just plain white, New York white. So hometown yarns are chunky, bulky. You can use any size six, size six, medium, or I'm sorry, bulky, super bulky. There we go not medium. This is a chunky, chunky yarn. Uh, and I used, I just got one ball of each color and I was able to make two full hats out of two balls each. So you can make as many hats as you want, really. This is what the hat looks like. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. So those are all the supplies we need. Big thank you to Lion Brand Yarn for providing all this yarn for this project today. And a big thank you to you for watching. I hope you learned something today. If you do, please hit the subscribe button. Please thumbs up this video and continue watching. Hit that bell so you get the notification on when we post a new tutorial of a new design. Uh, this is actually part of my Halloween costume. We are doing all sorts of rainbows this year. So I have a scarf that is matching to this so you can make the scarf and this hat and have a whole rainbow set. You know, that'd be fun for Pride Week too. How awesome. So anyway, I hope that you uh, enjoy this tutorial. Let's get started and make this rainbow hat. We're gonna first start out with a slip knot. So I'm gonna start with the red color. We're gonna just go down the rainbow colors here. Uh, start with the slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down, and then pull your long end through and pull tight. There's your slip knot. You can insert your hook, and we'll start. So let's start out by chaining 20. Okay, so yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, Four, five, six. I'll go really fast here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, And this is what it should look like. Uh, the length of this is the height of your hat. Okay? So 
it's gonna stretch too so you can stretch this out it's gonna be 12 inches for me okay 12 inches in height okay this is the height of our hat because it's vertically striped so chain another one so 21 okay because you want 20 stitches in total okay then what we're going to do is single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one, two, this chain right here. And what I'm going to do is turn my chain towards me and work in these back ridges here. So go into this second chain from the hook, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through both loops. That's a single crochet. Okay, so we're going to go again into the next one in the first five here. So one, two, three is this one, four, and five. Now in the next ten stitches, or in the next ten chains, we are going to double crochet. So yarn over, go into this next chain here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, that is a double crochet. So we're gonna do 10 of those. So that was one, here's two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you should have five chains left. In these last five chains, we are going to put a half double crochet in each of those. So yarn over, go into this next one yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops. That's a half double crochet. So there's one, yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There's two, here's three, four, and last one here is five, but we're going to yarn over, pull through, and we're going to change our color here. So leave these three loops on your hook, Grab, let's see, orange next, or whichever color you want. Hook that on your hook and pull it through all three of those loops to finish that stitch. Pull your old color and the little straggler here. Chain one with the new color. Turn your work around. And now we're going to be working in the back loops only. In these first five stitches here for row two, we are going to half double crochet in the first five stitches. So yarn over, turn your stitches so you can see the tops of your stitches here. This one right here is called the front loop. This loop back here is called the back loop. Front loop is closest to you, back loop is back on the furthest part of you. So front loop, front loop, front loop, front loop, back loop, back loop back loop, back loop. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Yarn over, go into the back loop of the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch in the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There's two, here's three, four, and five. Okay, now in each of these double crochet stitches, these next 10 stitches, we are going to double crochet. Again, working in the back loop, so yarn over, go into the back loop of this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So do that in the next 10 stitches. So there was one, here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. And you should have five stitches left. We are going to single crochet in the last five stitches. So go into this next stitch, back loop only. One, two, three, four, and this last one we're going to change color to yellow. So go into the back loop, yarn over, pull through, but do not yarn over and pull through those two. With the orange, we're going to grab yellow, hook that on, and finish off that stitch by pulling through both of those loops, pulling your stragglers tight, chain one, turn your work around, and now for row three, we are single crocheting in the first three, or I'm sorry, five stitches, single crochet only, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so you can see this is the top of the hat, these are all the single crochets, we're going to cinch this together in the, in the end. Uh, then the end here, these half double crochets are the bottom of the hat, which you would be able to flip up and have the half double crochets be kind of like a brim, or leave it down and have a slouchy hat, up to you. For our stragglers here, we want to cut our old color, okay, and tie knots. You can tie a simple one-time knot because we will be sewing these in. If you feel like it's more secure if you tie a double knot, you can do that. But I'm just going to tie it once, just like this. If you want to double, do double, that's fine. There will be knots in your work. But nobody will really see them because you're going to sew them in. So let me cut my orange here. And then tie it with the new color yellow here. Okay, and I'll sew those in later. So I'm just going to continue on now, working in the back loops only. Working the single crochets in each single crochet, double crochets in the double crochets, and half double crochets in the half double crochets. And really it's kind of mindless. So you can make this uh, however many colors you want, you know, change color every color, make it solid, you don't have to change color at all, do two colors, whichever. Then, once you have all your rows done, um, it might be more or less for you, but you have to go off the measurement of the head that you are making it for. So if it's a child size, it's about 20 inches. If it's a teen size, it's like 20, 21 inches. And if it's an adult size, it's 22 inches. So I have to make mine 22 inches. So I'm going to change color now to green. Red, orange, yellow, green. Okay, so I'll hook on that old new color, pull it through those half double crochet loops and chain one and turn it around and continue so if I'm going too fast you can obviously pause this rewind see exactly how I put uh, my stitches in my loops and everything one two three four five okay so these are all half double crochets then double crochets, then single crochets. So I'm going to pull up a loop here and show you. Um, you want to continue however long you need to to make this 22 inches for the adult head size. So you can see here is my hat, um, just the rows done. Let me zoom out here. There you go. So you can see here, this is my hat. I did all rainbow colors. Let's see here, one, two, three times. And then if you fold it over like this, you'll see, obviously I have to sew in all these ends. Uh, but you want to make sure that this stretches to be 22 inches. So let me stretch this out. Not too stretched, but close, like stretched so it's nice and snug on your head. 
just the base here. Yep, 22. Can you see that? Stretch. It'll be a little bit more. It'll be a little loose hat. That's good. Okay, so you can see at the top here it's going inward because this part is going to be cinched closed and have a palm on top. This bottom part is a little wider because it's going to fit around your forehead area. But you can see the line here where the half double crochets start. I like that little like brim. And then you'll be able to fold it up if you want to. So to sew in your ends, well first of all, let's fast, I'll show you how to fasten off. So I've fastened mine off already, but I'll take this apart real quick here so I can show you. Do, do, do. Okay, so to fasten off, when you have your last row done, you can end on a single crochet row or a half double crochet row, it doesn't matter. I ended up on a half double crochet row ending here. So just yarn over, chain one, cut your yarn really long for sewing, and just continue to pull it through, because we're going to sew up the seam with this yarn. Perfect. And then just pull tight. That's it. Okay, easy peasy. Now we got to grab our yarn needle and we're going to sew in some ends and then we're going to come back and sew this thing closed. So to sew in your ends, see I've tied these off like this, we're just going to yarn our needle, okay, yarn your needle, and we're going to go in the same color that is on the straggler here. So this yarn is this blue color, so we're just going to go into the blue stitches. Just like this. Okay, make sure you stretch it out so that it's not cinching and awkward. And we're just going to go underneath these stitches here and then come back through. And then stretch it out. And then if you have a little bit of a straggler there, just cut any extra you might have and toss that in the trash. Perfect. So we're just going to do that for all these little stragglers here. And then once I have all my ends sewn in and hidden, I'll come back and show you how to seam up this uh, hat. And then once the hat is all seamed up, we have to make a palm. Okay, so I have sewn in all the ends. It actually felt like it took longer sewing in the ends than it did crocheting <laughs> this piece. Uh, but <laughs> what we're going to do is um, you can decide which side you want to be the outside of your hat. Uh, this side looks like this, and this side looks a little different just with the way the stitches worked. You can see certain colors better on this side or other colors better on this side. It's up to you. But the side where the single crochets are is the top of the hat. The side where the half double crochets are is the bottom of the hat. Let's fold this in half to meet the first and last row. Okay, and the last row here is where I have my long strand for sewing. And what I'm going to do is just yarn my needle here. Okay. And I'm just going to mattress stitch. So mattress stitch, we're going to use just this loop and this the inside loops. Okay, let me zoom in here so you can see. Okay, so we're going to go into the inside of this loop here. Okay, from the inside out. And then come back to the inside loop of this stitch right here. Okay. And pull. Okay. Then the inside stitch of this one, the inside loop, sorry, right here. And then the inside loop of this one right there. Okay, and we're just going to do that all the way up until it's fully seamed. And then once it's fully seamed, we're going to cinch the top closed with the rest of this yarn. And then we have to make a palm.
Okay, so now that I've seamed this up right here, as you can see, I am going to tie a knot so that, you know, when you pull this, it doesn't like cinch up or anything. You want to stretch as far as it will go and then tie a knot just going around a few loops here. Keep your finger in this loop. Okay, then come back through this loop and then pull it really tight. And that cinches that. And that looks good. Okay, so this is the back of the hat. So now we're going to cinch around this top hole. So what we want to do is kind of just go weave, weave it in and out each row. Okay, nobody's going to see this because the palm we are going to make is going to be covering this. But as you can see, I'm just going in and out of each color right at the edge. Okay, and then we come back around. And when you come back around, you want to pull it all really tight. Okay. Cool. So now we're just going to cinch this, and you know what would be kind of cool if you left this kind of open, it could be, you could put your ponytail through there if you wanted to make it a bun hat. But I'm just going to squeeze this and pull my yarn. You don't want to break your yarn though, so make sure to just pull it tight enough that your yarn is not going to break. Okay, so it's all closed up there. Sweet. Now we're just going to tie a knot. So go around a few stitches, and similar to how I just showed you, we're just going to go around the few st so yarn stuck, hang on, there we go. Okay, we're going to go around a few stitches, just like this, make a loop, keep your finger in the loop, okay, come back through the loop, and pull, and pull tight. Okay, then what I'm going to do is cut this so it's a little shorter. First of all, I'm going to do another knot. Okay, come back through. Pull tight. Okay, and then we can tuck in this end. And just wrap it and sew it in so that it's hidden completely. Okay, cut this, cool, you want to flip it outside, right side out, okay, this is what it looks like. Awesome. That looks really good. This is the back seam. So that's the back of the hat. It's the front of the hat. And that's what it looks like. Sweet. Okay, so you can end it here if you want, but I'm going to make a big white palm for the top, and then we're done. So the way I made my palm, I have these two pieces of cardboard, okay, and I have lined them up like this. You can cut two pieces of cardboard like this, this is six inches, almost six inches across, uh, with a little hole in the middle, 
and a slit here to wrap your yarn or you can just get a legit uh, palm maker they make those um, and sell them at your craft store but I did not get a chance to get to my craft store so I'm making one so I made this one out of cardboard and all we have to do is wrap and wrap and wrap and if my dad was here filming me right now he would probably make some type of joke about wrapping. <laughs> That's how my dad is. But we miss him. He needs to film for us because it is quite difficult to fill out, film on my own. But I'm here doing it so I'm just gonna keep wrapping this around and around and then once I have it fully wrapped I'll show you what I do next. Alright, so what we want to do next, now that this is all wrapped around, we're going to cut this right here. Okay, then we're going to cut a longer strand to wrap around. Okay, so it's like this long. So what we want to do is stick this in between the uh, cardboards here, just like this. Okay, but do not cut this piece. We're just going to wrap it around the pom-pom. Uh, so now what we're going to do is use the guided sl split here between the two cardboards and cut our yarn. It's best to do this on a tabletop though because you don't want to lose any strands and you can use one hand to kind of guide the piece and one hand to guide the scissors. Okay, and again you can totally skip this obviously if you have a legit palm maker, <laughs> but I'm cheap. So there we go, just cut, cut, cut away. Okay, and then trail this piece along in between the two pieces of cardboard because we'll use that to tie all of this together. I have videos out there about how to make palms and stuff, or I've made palms. I actually made the same exact palm for my rainbow scarf, so that's awesome. It's an easy, easy project. Yeah, just be careful <laughs> not to cut this strand and also not to cut uh, your fingers. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I'm trailing this all the way around without making any, pe losing any pieces. Okay, make sure they're even. Okay, then what we're going to do is just tie this in a knot. Okay, then what I like to do is flip it and tie it in a knot on the opposite side. And you can tie it once or twice or three times just to reinforce that. Okay, once it's all together, you can take these cardboards off. Okay, give it a little fluff. Cute. Needs a haircut, obviously. <laughs> so, we're just going to give it a little haircut. That looks pretty good. Cool. Okay, then we're just going to attach it to the top of our hat. 
right here. Okay, so we're just going to take the two strands through the hat and then just tie a knot inside the hat. Super simple. You can even just use your crochet hook. Like that. And just tie it in up. Tie it really tight. Double or triple knot it. And then cut your yarn short and weave in the ends if you need to. I just cut them short enough. They just stay inside the hat. So there it is. The rainbow hat is complete. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this hat with me. That was so much fun. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Lion Brand Yarn for providing this yarn today with the hometown uh, line. And thanks to you for watching. Until next time, happy hooking!